What up, y'all? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Well, hello, how are you guys doing? We're going to be talking about some of my favorite resources to learn Python. So these resources can be for beginners, for more advanced students, intermediate, whatever. These are just great supplemental resources that you can use while you're learning Python. If you can write hello world, hello, hello, you can hello change the world. world. So let's just get into the first one. So the first resource that I have used to learn Python has been Runstone Academy. So they have this interactive online book that you can use that's completely free. By the way, all the resources that I will talk about in this video are free. I got you. And the also all resources that I have used, I'm not just going to recommend something out of the blue and then t it turns out it's terrible so I don't want to do that to you guys so the first thing I like about this book is that it's interactive so what I mean by that is you can read a section let's say you just read a section on strings then after that I'll ask you two to three questions about what you just read so I love that just because for me when I'm learning something and I'm taking notes or when I'm learning something and I know there's questions later my mind is a little bit more like uh, like it's a little more focused, like it's ready, you know, so I love the format of the book. And at the same time, it's super clear. The book covers data structures, algorithms, fundamentals of Python and coding. And I just highly, highly, highly recommend this book. It is really great. I read it sometimes just for fun. Like I like just going back. I was actually reading the section on strings. And something I always forget that Python has that's super cool is negative indexing. So you can use that with lists, you can use that with strings, and it's super powerful and not many languages have that. So I was like, yeah, I'm really glad that I reread this. So yeah, Runstone Academy Interactive Book, A++. So another resource that you can use to learn Python is actually an app. So you know when you're on the go and you have a couple of minutes, this app is perfect. So the name of the app is called Enki, E-N-K-I, and it's honestly amazing. So they have these different brain workouts that you can do, which is basically like 20 minute workouts and it just consists of reading some information and then answering questions. Kind of like Runstone Academy, except it's like on your phone. And I use this when I'm like waiting in line to get coffee. Or if there's just like a dull moment, I just pull it out and I read a quick little snippet. And I'll show you on the screen too. And it's not like they just have Python. They have Java, Git, web development, like so many different concepts. And you can do these quick workouts every day so you can like enforce what you're learning or you can actually just go back and review. Like that's how I use it. And I've used it for Python and I just think it's great. I love the idea of the app. And yeah, it's good to get your daily workouts in so you're staying fresh on what you're learning. So another resource I like using is called Code Signal. I think they used to be called Code Fights, but they're Code Signal now. And what they have is that not only do they have great interview prep, so if you're into interview prep, they have a great section on that. Raining money when you get a question right, so fun. But they also have a section on Python. And what I like about this, it's usually like multiple choice questions for Python. But why I like it is that for me, like the level I'm at right now, Runstone Academy and Enki, some of those questions are not as challenging. But when you go to Code Signal, I'm at that point where some of these questions I actually really have to pause and think about it. So I really like that if you want an extra challenge. And then for interview prep, if you're into interview prepping or if you're just practicing questions, Code Signal is a great website. So the next two resources I'm going to talk about, resources to learn Python, are actually two YouTubers, A. You guys know I love YouTube. And the first person, his name is Corey Scoffer. 
Hopefully I'm saying his name right. If I'm not, I apologize. And why I like his videos is it really just feels like I'm learning from a friend. Like, first off, he gets straight into it every video. He has a lot of videos as well on almost any topic in Python you can think about. And he really doesn't use, like, really big words to explain things or make them convoluted or anything like that. It's super simple. I remember a while ago I was... I was struggling with list comprehensions and I was like I'm just gonna use my regular for loop like nobody got time for list comprehensions but after watching his video I was like Maya this isn't hard as at all you know and just the way he explained it and the many examples that he went over and useful examples a++ like he has a great channel sometimes I just watch his videos if it's like late at night and I'm like mm, I don't feel like watching Netflix but I don't feel like doing intense work I'll just watch his videos and they're super great and then the last resource I'm going to talk about her name is Socratica and she is a python goddess so she's actually a robot and she teaches python so she has a lot of different videos as well on different python subjects and yeah, she's honestly she's just great. So at first I wasn't feeling her. I was like, what is this robot type thing? I'm just trying to learn. But it's actually like really engaging. And after a while, I was like, okay, I like your dad jokes, you know, her little nerd jokes. I was like, I'm feeling this. And yeah, she's another great resource again. So I'm not saying like go to their YouTube channels and watch every single video. Like I'm not saying doing that, but I'm like, let's say you're in your online classes, you're at your boot camps, you're in lecture, and there's just this topic that you don't understand, what I would do is I'll look up Corey Scoffer variable scoping, or like just different things like that, like it's great supplemental resources. So yeah, that's really it for this video. Hope you guys learned about a resource you did not already know about. In the comments below, let me know what resources you have used to learn Python, whether it be courses from Udemy, paid, not paid, whatever. Let me know what the great resources are out there and I'll check that out. And this can also help other people out as well. So like drop some knowledge in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Make sure you're staying safe, stay home, and I will see you in the next video.